Dylan from One here, bringing you a tutorial on how to use Voxel Sniper for Bucket. Um, we're gonna start off by making a simple, simple mountain range. It's gonna just basically block off this area from anywhere unless you climb the hill. It's just gonna be accessed by this path and this path. Okay, what we need to do first, if you want, is to get rid of all these trees. You're gonna need to spawn some arrow, an arrow, and gunpowder. Where's the gunpowder? Oh, okay. Now, bear with me in case I forget some of the commands, but I think I've got them all down. To remove some of, to remove the trees, type in B. Be replaced. You wanna and to set the size, you type slash b. I'm gonna set it to fifty. No, about ten. Then for the, you wanna put the material that you want to replace by typing vr, and then let's do eighteen, I believe, for leaves. Yes, eighteen is to remove leaves. Then you wanna hit you want to type slash V and then set it to the material that you want to replace it with. In this case, we're replacing it with air. So we're going to put slash V0. Now, if we use the arrow tool, then we start right-clicking. It should start removing the leaves. Now, if I crash which is happening very often, I apologize, but I will most likely cut that out in editing. So you're just going to see like a little switch between uh, videos. And, well, Let's get rid of let's go further. Okay, now that you have the leaves from the trees all gone, uh this is just to stop and get it done quicker instead of ooh, look at cave. Uh type VR to set the thing that you want to replace, which will be uh let's see. I think seventeen? Yes. Now start clicking away and it should start removing the logs. I'm going to bring up my brush size to about 20. It'll warn you and that's really just if you have like other people on your server and it'll cause a lot of lag for him from what I've experienced let's get rid of all of these the rest of these and that's all I think now <coughs> to start building the mountain range I always use the ball brush so it's good. You need to type slash B and then B to set as the ball brush. Then you want to set the voxel to, uh, yeah, one for stone. And then change your brush size from what it was to a very reasonable size because 20 will do this. And in my opinion, that's a little bit overkill. I prefer fine editing. So, about eight. Yeah, that'll do. Then you just want to start clicking. And. Hold on. Okay, there we go. You want to start clicking and 
it'll start placing ball uh stone balls <laughs> weird as it sounds it really turns out to be a really cool looking thing if you do it right now okay let's make it look like it's not just like jutting straight out of the ground you can if you want but I'm not going to because I like my things look more natural have a more natural feel. You can add a few. O Crash number one. Okay. Uh, let's just start from where I was. You can create knee over, like you can create an overhang if you want. Like this. And. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to put a smaller brush than this, and I'm going to go into like a little bit, just filling in a few gaps, making it a little bit neater. It doesn't have to be perfect, because when we use the melt tool, it will uh, fix up all the little holes that we have left, but just once again to get a more natural feel. I'm going to be using smaller brushes. I'm just going to use this side right for now to make this tutorial short. And. Okay. I'm going to fill in that hole right there. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, now that you have that done, if you're following along with me, you want to switch over to the BE Melt. This is what I always do. It's the, in my opinion, the best way to get a good looking mountain. Now, you can either use the gunpowder tool, which will, well, I forgot. Uh, it just d does different things. But you want to use Melt and then just basically click all along your mountain, cover the entire mountain, melt it all. Like hot fudge. Mm. Let's get back in there. Switch over to this. Put it back. Fill in. Do this again. Ooh, that's not looking too good, actually. Let's undo that. Actually, I think that'll be just fine for what I'm trying to do. So... Yeah, let's leave it at that. Okay, um... Now... Hold on, let me change the time of day. What I do is I will do um, BE Smooth. If you want a jagged mountain, you can leave it like this and skip ahead. But BE Smooth makes it look more natural and it gives it a better shape. You just want to basically hold the right trigger and click all, we'll just drag it all along the mountain. And it will smooth out all the features. You can use the gunpowder tool. Okay, yep, that's good. Now, what I like to do is use B over. And then you, I wanna, I'm want i going to set it to a depth of 2. And then you need to set what you want to place as the basically the top soil. I'm going to use, is it V2? No, it's V3 for dirt. And then I'm going to go use the arrow tool for this. Just want to state that so you won't have this going on and it just piles up. Let's 
should look like this. Now cover the entire mountain. Like so. And now that once it's covered, you need to go and type B over and then type D1 for the depth of 1. Then slash V and set it to 2 for grass. If you want grass, of course, which I'm pretty sure you do. And then you just want to use the arrow tool again and cover the entire mountain. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to type B tree, big tree, just to, wait, hold on, is it BT, okay, there we go, BT, big tree, and that will let me, when I right click, place trees, and just gonna place them all along the mountain. is that? Huh. No, that was there. And a few more trees. Make it look good. Make a thick forest down here. Just cover it. And I think that's all. Now that you have that, it should look pretty natural. I mean, looks pretty well done to me. Got the nice overhang. Ooh. Well, this has been a tutorial by Killing for Money, and hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. So, Killing for Money, signing out.